This is the first pen tool video and in this video we're going to learn the three distinct patterns that you can create using the pen tool. You notice in pattern one it's click, move the mouse, repeat and that ends up with anchor points, those little black dots with straight paths between them. On pattern number two that there's more of a curvy uh, situation and you can see towards the end of that path that we have what we call Bezier control handles. They alter the path and on pattern two there are two control handles per anchor point. On pattern number three there's only one control handle per anchor point and each one of these patterns has a distinct way in which you create it and you can see under them and you might want to print this screen out exactly what we do. But let's go ahead and look at these and actually show how we create them. We're going to grab the pen tool and we can see underneath it there's a variety of pen tools that we can use. We're going to use the top one, just the straight pen tool. Create pattern number one. Click, move the mouse. Click, move the mouse. Click, move the mouse. We are setting anchor points and straight paths between those anchor points. If I hold down the control key, I can grab an anchor point and move those anchor points. Pretty simple on pattern number one. And I can continue on by just clicking on the last anchor point and continuing with that pattern. Click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse. And I'm going to go to the path dialog box and I'm going to go ahead and save that path after I name it. And what this will do after you save a path is this path will come up with this file every time you open the file. So that path will be there. And also I can make a selection of that path and you're probably familiar with selections by now. So let's look at pattern number two. Grab the pen tool. We're going to drag, let go, move the mouse. Drag, let go, move the mouse. Drag, let go, move the mouse. Keep in mind, drag is holding the, your left mouse button down and moving the mouse. Drag, let go, move the mouse. I hold the control key down and I get a selection tool. I can go back and I can see that I can alter that path by using those control handles. Once again, those control handles will not print out. They're not part of the path, but they allow you to alter that path. And I can move the anchor points. Once again, pattern one, click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse. Straight paths between anchor points. Hold the control key down. I can move the anchor points. Go back to pattern number two with the control key down. I can alter the path by swinging those anchor, those Bezier control handles. And you notice that there are two control handles per anchor point. I can connect the two, but just by continuing. continuing. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull that path into the trash. We can get rid of it if we want to. I'm going to go back and uh, grab the pen tool, recap of pattern one, click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, go to pattern tool, drag, let go, move the mouse, drag, let go, move the mouse. We end up with big curves, two control handles per anchor point. Okay, now pattern three. I'm going to go ahead and save this first so that it will come up with this image whenever I open it again. I click an anchor point and then I drag from that anchor point, that's two moves, move the mouse, click, drag from that point, click, let go of the mouse, drag, let go, move the mouse, click, drag from that point, move the mouse. You'll notice on pattern three that we only have one control handle per anchor point. I held down the control key and you can see that I can grab an anchor. When I click on an anchor point, the control handle is visible and I can move that control handle to, to alter that line. 
The third path is the toughest because there is two moves off of that one anchor point. You click to make an anchor point, and then you let go of the mouse, and from that anchor point with your pen tool on it, simply drag, let go, move the mouse. Pattern two, drag, let go, move the mouse, drag, let go, move the mouse. Click, drag from that point, move the mouse, let go. Click, then drag from that point, move the mouse, let go. Click, go back to the control key, and with those control handles, I can move the path, and also I can move anchor points. In the second video, we're going to go ahead and see what we can actually do with paths. And your paths dialog box is under Windows.